Hi everyone, my name is Monique. And I'm Naveed from Before You Play. And this is Paris New Eden. Yeah, it's a game designed by two designers, uh, Ludovic Malbloch and Florian Grenier, published by Matago Games. It plays two to four players, and it plays in about 45 minutes. It's about Paris in a post-apocalyptic world. You're gathering survivors, you're getting resources, building buildings, scoring points, right? Yep. So shall we play it? Let's do it. Okay, so we're about to go ahead and get set up, but before we do, if you can please turn on your Klingon subtitles, that would be great. See you in a bit. Okay, so we are now ready to play a two-player game of Paris New Eden. But before we begin, we just wanted to kind of give a brief general overview of how the game is played. We will leave the specifics up to when we start playing the game. Mm -hmm. We'll kind of describe as we play. Um, but if you would look at the middle of the table here, we have the big, beautiful game board. Uh, it looks like a painting. It's mm -hmm. so beautiful. That's and nice. so, yeah, it's really nice. The board is divided into five different areas. Um, and then all around the track here, we have our score tracker. We have the different building cards that can be built, as well as the different season tiles and the farmer area. Mm -hmm. So a game of Paris New Eden is played over four rounds. And each, rep each round represents a season. Because thematically, the game is, is set in the post-apocalyptic Paris. We are taking a whole year to try to rebuild sections of Paris, or our own Paris, I guess. Right. Um, and so, uh, we, we first start in spring, and then we go through each season. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be drafting these tiles from the different the five different areas of the board. Drafting the dice. Sorry, mm -hmm. drafting dice <laughs> from yeah. five different areas of the board. Mm -hmm. And then in each location, they each have a particular action that we will then be performing. Right. We're going to um, acquire buildings, build them, etc. Right. So each round consists of three phases. The first phase is where we're going to be acquiring survivors. Right. Drafting the dice. Drafting the dice. So we're going to be taking turns, um, taking one of these dice from a location and taking its action. The die faces are the, the six different survivor types. They are tinkerers, brawlers, healers, sages, and farmers. Mm -hmm. and the, sixth, the sixth type is this one here, which is supposed to be like the slacker, which is a wild. Mm -hmm. um, and so the five different locations are the restaurant, and uh, I guess we can just kind of go over what the location does it, now. Yeah. So when you take a die from the restaurant, what you'll be doing is you'll be getting food. And food are these little can tiles. You take one, and that's it. Um, over here, we have the train station. When you draft a die here, then you get to take an additional one of these um, survivor chits. Yes. And then that'll also make sense later. Uh, down here, we have the bridge, and this is where you get these mission cards. Now, we both start with one mission card each, right. and the mission cards have either a end, end game objectives that will score you points depending on what you've gathered, um, or uh, additional buildings right. that you can secretly build right. whenever you've met, whenever the certain you've met a certain criteria. Yeah. So going here allows you to draw draw three yep, and draw keep, three, one. keep one. Yes. Um, and then we have the city center, which is over here. When you draft the die, you can take one of these three equipment chips or one of these two big ones here. And so the these ones, they're, they're the binoculars. Yep. The binoculars will allow you to go first next round yes. and also gives you two points if you own it at the end of the game. Right. That's, it makes it so that that chit is useful in the very last round. Yeah, at the round. very last round. Um, this is the bat, and this allows you to break ties. Yes basically. Mm -hmm. And then these are just equipment chits, which are going to be used right. to score points and all that, all that jazz. Uh, and the last section is here, which is the tower. Uh, if you're the first person to come to the tower, you're going to take this person. And what happens here is at the end of each round, we're going to resolve one of these event tiles. Only one of them will be face up by the end of the round. And so coming here allows you to help dictate which tile that's going to be. Right. So when I take a die from here, I flip one of these over, whichever one I don't want to score, basically. And so each tile shows you how many of a type of survivor, survivor plus its equipment tile that you right. need to possess in order to score that many points. Right. So uh, when if you're the first person to take a die here, you get this token, which allows you to fulfill one of those requirements just for free. Just yeah, for having basically, it's like a wild. It's a wild, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and then after all the dice have been drafted, because in the first phase, we're going to draft all of them. After the dice have been drafted, we're going to go into the second phase, which is acquiring these buildings here. Now, each type of survivor has its own type of building. Um, they all have a combination of either equipment tokens or sort of their specific type of survivers on them. Mm -hmm. um, the, with the exception of the tinkerers. The tinkerer buildings 
uh, have same thing, or they also come with cards that give you like an ability. Yeah, an ability or a modified action. Uh, or a modified action things, that, yeah. that will apply to you for the rest of the game, mm -hmm. as long as you have it in your possession. Correct. Um, and then, the way that that works is we're going to take a look at all of the dice that we have acquired during that first phase. We're going to announce whoever has the lar the biggest strength right. um, in each category, going down from here, down this way. And whoever has a larger strength in that category gets to choose one of these buildings first. Right. They get first dibs. They get first dibs. Mm -hmm. You have to have at least one die in that particular survivor in eligible. order to be right. in the running. Right. So you can't have one, I have zero, and I just take the, the scraps of what you didn't want. Correct. I must so have at least one. In a two-player game, oh no, sorry, in a four-player game, one person's always going to not have a building. Correct. In a two-player game, you're only going to not have a building if you didn't take a survivor of that type yes. of building. Mm -hmm. Um, after we've done that, we build all our buildings, then we're going to go into the last phase, which is just resolving the event and then feeding your people. Mm -hmm. So re resolving the event is just like I said earlier, we're going to see whoever meets the requirements of the tile that is still showing and then gets that many points. Right. Uh, it's all friendly. If you've met the requirements, you all get the points. And then the feeding your people is you're going to count however many people you have in your buildings. And you're going to look at the handy dandy chart here and see how many farmers, which are these guys that you need. Mm -hmm. To fulfill that and if you be able to meet the requirements then you get the points right so that is a nice brief overview of how this game is played after that you just do it three more times it's a total of four rounds um, at the very end of the game wherever however many points you have plus the two points for whoever has this gets the two points yeah, and then plus, plus all of your um, end game mission cards That's right. will be your end game score and whoever has the most points wins so that is That's pretty thorough that's it yeah that's it so we already did a little bit of setup. We, at the very beginning of the game, you get three of these mission cards and you get to keep one. Right. So, so we've already kept chosen. Mine and kept yours. Yes. The only other thing is, first we're going to see who goes first. Right. Ready? Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> we got a stutter. Ready to go. One, two, three. Okay, right. so it's still me. So you go first. So you? because I'm going to go first, <laughs> um, the other thing that you get to do is you get to draft these starting survivor chits. And right. it's going to be from... It's going to be one of the five uh, main types that you see here. The slacker is not one of the chits yeah. out there. So because I'm going first, Naveen gets to Again, choose first. first choice, yeah. Um, let's go ahead and take the blue farmer. Okay. okay. I will take the... Let's go with the sage. Okay. So these three individuals are out of the game. Out of the game. Okay. So you are first player, so you get to draft first. And then we begin! So, ready? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So I am going to... I'm going to start by drafting this farmer die. So I grab that from the or the, the bridge. Mm -hmm. and so I get to take three of these and I'm going to choose one. So okay, makes sense. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. I have chosen. Okay. <laughs> All right. I don't know. These are these are kind of scary. So just to kind of give you um, an understanding of what's in this deck, there are stuff like if you have the most of this type of survivor at the end of the game, you get six points. If you have a combination of four of these yeah, survivors, like a you get, yeah. it's a set collection mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. It's a lot of it is like if you have the most of this type of thing, you get this many yeah, points. So it kind of guides your gameplay. So uh, it does. You know what? I don't want you to have access to more end game scoring, so I will take this. And same exact thing. I think a pretty good open here. It's not bad. Okay, let's see. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take. I'll take this one. Right. You have chosen. I have chosen. Very good. Good luck to us both. All right, so my turn. Yes. Hmm. I'm gonna go with this one. Tinker. Mm-hmm. So you're gonna retain first by going there? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna go farmer heavy here. I'm gonna take this one and take the farmer chit to go along with it. So we have attracted the farmer. Okay, um I'm gonna go with this one. So I got my tinkerer. Because I was the first one to go here, mm -hmm. I get this, I forgot what this, this tile is called. Yeah. And I'm going to flip over one of these events that I don't... Foresee you wanting. Foresee wanting, yeah, exactly. Um, let's go with... Let's go with this one. Okay. So now go to that one. I did. I did. 
Okay. So I'll take the couple there, and I'll take the breaking of ties. Gonna be the tiebreaker? Tiebreaker, just in case. Oathbreaker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna grab one of these. This is the healer and the healer chit. Your turn. Okay, I'm gonna go with slacker over here. And I'm gonna flip over this one right here. So this one at the end of the round, because we've already uh, basically scratched off these two, this is the one that will be potentially scoring for both of us. Right. Um, okay, let's go with this one. And this. So I'm grabbing some equipment. The equipment is gonna, is gonna help set me up for future scoring things, right. scoring stuffs. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take the green person here, which is a healer, and because I went to this, the action here is gaining a can of food, which will be important for when we feed our survivors. Okay, uh, let's go with the farmer. So I grab the farmer, and I'm also gonna take a can of food. Can't let you take it all. Have all the food, mm -hmm. knowing you. You. you <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Right. You wouldn't do that. There's no yellow out there. That's the one thing I don't have access to. Wah-ah. Alright, I'll take the blue over here. Okay. And take the medicine shit. I'm gonna grab the slacker. Mm -hmm. And this one. It's the perps. The perps. Purple. And that was my last, my last die draft. That's that. So it looks so. like I'm forced to take this purple and another medicine chip, which hopefully will come in handy. Wonderful. Okay. All so right. that's the end of the drafting Everything's phase right been, there. Yep. Everything's been divvied. So now we're going right. to go into the next phase. We're yes. going to try to acquire these buildings by announcing our strengths. So, yeah. so what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to organize um, all my workers of the same type to make my life easier. I'm just going to leave them. Okay. <laughs> okay, so yeah. the way that it works is you're going to start, you have to start from the tinkerers and move your way down this way. Yes. And so starting with the tinkerers, we're going to announce our strength. And our strength is just however many of that same colored die plus the chits that you acquire that round. And any slackers. And any slackers that you choose to use. Right. Which are now, the wild. Slackers can only be used in conjunction with, with a chit or with a dice. You cannot have just a slacker represent yellow. So in my case, I have this one slacker. I'm not allowed to use this to represent the yellow tinker. Yeah, so you have to have that color already somewhere represented on your board right. in order to apply the kind slacker. Kind of basically to boosts it. you up a, a little notch there. Correct. So yellow. So because I have the binoculars, I get to announce first. <laughs> That's true. So uh, he doesn't have any yellow. <laughs> no. <laughs> and I have these two, so my strength is two. Which means that I get pick of the litter, pick of the litter, and um, he doesn't get any of them no. either. So I'm gonna get this one because it has a cool little ability, um, yeah. and that's just gonna come straight into my into Building my territory. My yeah, the refuge. Called, my ref my refuge. It's called the refuge. So this has this has the the ability like we we said earlier. So whenever I come here, I can grab two additional cards. Right. I can only keep one still. Still keep one. See, so you see five cards. Total of five, which is nice. Uh, okay, so that was the tinkerers. Now we move on to the brawlers, which is red. Is it red? I have this one here. So do I. Now I break ties. So I have to ask myself if I think it's really important to use this oh, slacker yes. with it to break that tie. <laughs> Let's just kind of see what, what else we're going for here. Now I also have a slacker too, but I don't have to declare if I'm using Correct. it until after she does. Because she is the first player. That's true. Mm. I'm going to use the slacker. Okay. I'm going to declare it. Declare. You do declare. Two. Strength of two. Strength of two. Okay. Um, I have a strength of one. You have a strength of one? One. Yeah. I will not be using my slacker. Okay. That. So I get to choose which one of these buildings that I want first. So Correct. I guess I will take this one. Okay. So I, by default, must take this one. So mm -hmm. let me just kick this off so we just keep it nice and smooth. And there you go. <laughs> we, have, <laughs> we have a single person there. Okay, so because we've acquired some buildings now that have survivors on them, 
at the end of the round, we're going to be having, we're going to have to feed our people according to how many of these survivors we have in our refuge. So as we go, we're just going to kind of keep track of it yep. on the board. It so makes life a lot easier to do that. If you that notice way. us kind of doing that, that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. So right now I have one, yeah, and one I, person and I in my refuge. One. Even though this one. is kind of a gray neutral, it still counts. It still counts as somebody's there. So we're both at one. We'll just stack each other. There you go. By the um, way, uh, I am uh, the white player, if you guys are keeping track. And, and I'm Monique gray. Is gray. Um, so this is a score track right here. We're both at zero, and we are both at one right now. Okay, so let's move on to the healers, yep. which are these green buildings here. I have two of them. Yes, so my, my strength is two. Okay, so I have one dice, but I'm going to use the slacker as my strength of two. And because I have the double baseball bats, I break <laughs> ties. Okay. Or the triple baseball bats. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. In there. Okay, so I'm going to so take this one take. right here. So this comes with a survivor, and naturally I always have two medicine. Uh, so, like I said, we're going to housekeep. Um, I gained one extra survivor, and Monique, did you also get one? I gained one. Yeah. This so is my survivor that. right there. Two survivors. My building came with one survivor and one medicine. medicine. Yep. <laughs> I'm just going to place my medicine on this same one right here, just to make life a lot easier. And then, the way that it works is it's the first time that we've run into this so far. Mm -hmm. The used chit that you used for the strength, so now it's your strength, I guess I should say, joins your refuge. You flip it yes, over to its colored right. side and it joins your refuge. So I actually gained another That's right. Another did. person doing that. Okay. And you were gray. Mm -hmm. so you I have a total three. of three in my refuge. That's correct. Very okay. good. Okay, so moving on to the sage, I have two, these two. Right, and I have two, two uh, dice. Okay, sorry. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this one right here. All right, and I get this one. I'm going to kind of put that up there. I'm building my different colors here. And my two uh, chits join my refuge as well. Right. So how many total now? You get an extra so, two? I get an extra two. So she has two more survivors. She's at five. Two more survivors. And uh, my card came with two survivors, so I'm at four. Right yeah. There. That's the thing that's interesting. If you get your survivors from here, that chit comes to you and it will become permanent in your refuge. Mm -hmm. If you take the survivor as a die, if you're going to be able to use it to announce your strength, but it's, it'll go away right. after. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we, oh, and I use this. Now we're into the last one, which is the farmers. Yep. I have two of them. Okay, and I have a strength of two dice and two chits. Okay. So I'll take this one right here. And I get this one. And because mine, uh, my building has this little spot here for a can of food, I get to take one from the supply right. and add it there. If ever I have to use it, this is just gonna get spent. It's gonna go bye-bye. Okay, so before so, we forget, let's, add, one as let's well. add survivors. How many survivors? Two survivors right there. Two, so you are now at I'm going to add my equipment. So I have okay. one, two, three, plus these two chits. Four, five. So I just added five survivors, five farmers. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness. Oh, so I see. One, two, three, four, five. That's better. Okay, so I have five farmers out. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's good. That's good. Bye -bye. I'm going to place my food in the farmer area since they kind of relate. Sure. I did the same. Yeah. Okay. And so that that uh, completes our yeah. second phase. We are now going to go into the third phase, which is just resolving the event mm -hmm. and feeding our people. So the event that survived here is this one, right. which is basically if you have a combination of one sage plus one book, then you get one point. Right. That's so. anytime you see the peace sign symbol, that means points. Mm -hmm. So that's what that means. So I did that. I have a uh, I have a sage with a book. Yep, same. The sage and book. Sage and book. So, so we, we both, both get, get one point. One point. One one. Okay. And then now we have to feed our people. So the way that that works is we look at the chart that we've been you know keeping track of all of our survivors on, and it says at the top it says how many farmers you need in order to score that many points. Right. So this says I can't actually read it. <laughs> uh, you need two farmers. Oh, I need two far We need two. If, farmers. if you're in this little uh, row here, you need two farmers. And you score um, two points. Two points, okay. Do you have that? So Two farmers or two pieces of food for, that can act as a, as a farmer. Yeah, so for each farmer that you don't have, you have to spend a can of food in right. order to, to score to those set, points. To feed the people, yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Um, hmm, does that seem worth it? I guess I will. Okay. I mean, it's just two points. <laughs> it seems like a low-scoring game. Let's do it. All right, so two points for Monique, who is gray. Okay, and then I have five farmers, so I'll be able to feed. So I'm going to go up to two right here, so I didn't have to spend my can of food. All right. All right. So 
So let's uh, reset for the we second season. We're going to reset for the second season. Yeah. So this goes bye-bye. These are all the originals. And now we will set out a new set of three. So we're now going into summer, yeah, right? Summer. Yep. I think it's summer. And then we're going to roll these dice. And so the each location um, tells you, or maybe I should do it that way. Each, each location one. tells you how many dice to put in for the different player counts. So that's two. Okay, yeah, this is two for over there. There's two up here. up here. Here, there's Ooh. three up here. Left-handed roll. Oh, that wasn't as nice. bad as I thought it was going to be. Okay. Don't forget to put your... These chips that weren't taken go away. So I'll give that to you. And then if you can kind of... Okay, there, I got it. These ones need to yep. go in there. One whole stack. Yep. Wow, that's a lot of slackers. Wow. That's 100% almost. <laughs> what, 98? What is that? No. Five out of six. 83.3. There, 83. 83. there we go. That's the good man. <laughs> Binoculars go back. And then this person goes back. Yeah. Okay. And I think that is it. Okay, so let's just talk oh, about actually, this a little bit. Oh, we, no, we didn't get this. I did not get that. Okay, so this so is going to go by. Go by, by. I'm going to put it at the end of the deck. Yeah. So two of these come out okay. around. Two of these. Two of these. I'm trying to get my end game goals here. Yeah, I have no idea what my end game goal looks okay. like. Okay, so we are now set up for round two. Yeah, and you took the first I player chit, so you are going to be starting us off again. I'm going to start by start doing this again. Bottom, yeah. So let's get that one, Ooh, and I get to draw uh, five of these: two, three, four, five, because I have that tinkerer building that allows me to draw That's an extra two. But I can only still keep one. So. Well, I already know what my action is going to be, so I'm, and it's not going to hinder you. I don't think. Sure. I'm going to take this, which is the same action there. Can't let you keep getting a bunch of these cards. You dig. Ooh. All right, I'm going to keep this one. And that one will go over in there. Goodbye, bye. Goodbye. All right. My turn again? Yes, it's you. All right, let's go farmer food. <laughs> farmer, the restaurant. Makes sense. I'll take red, take this little chit, which gives me a little wild, and let's discard. So this is more of a hate drafting part here. I, or it's, what can I do? <laughs> let's go ahead and take this away. I think this, this helps both of us if this is not in play. Okay. So I'll be the martyr on that one. You will. <laughs> Okay, let's go with Tinkerer and the double baseball bats. Ooh, changing it up. Changing okay. it up. I like it. I like it. <laughs> All right. Well, seeing as there's not much yellow out there left, I will go Tinkerer up in there, and I'll take one of these many, many, many slackers. Okay. Okay. Let's go double slacker. <gasps> slacker, okay. slacker. No, I needed some yellow, that's right. You know what, I'll take, I'll take this blue for some food and I will dictate what scores. So let's go ahead and take that one down. Okay. I think this is good for both of us here. Is it? Yeah, this is, this is <laughs> I think. Um, hold on here. <laughs> Hi. Let's go. Farmer. And closing out that whole action spot. Yeah, just closing this out. I like it. Okay, making sure you're getting some food. <laughs> let's see. I need some purple game just so I can diversify. So let's put that one there. And because I'm taking that, I have no bullets to my name. So let's take a bullet. Okay. Okay. Um. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Like, let me let see me what see. I have. Okay. What do you do? Yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna grab this last farmer oh. and food. Going food Can you happy? tell that I'm 
I'm concerned. You're concerned about food. I'm scarcely I'm concerned you're here. concerned about food. <laughs> so I'm going to, I'm going to hate draft red from you, I think, here. Because no matter Go what, I'm getting it. green. Well, oh, you, oh. Well, okay. Yes. You have to take another, um, you okay, have to take you're right. the action of the location. Which is get one of these two items. So, um, I'm doing pretty good in green. Let's go ahead and take purple here. I'll just add it to my purple tile. Okay. Let's go... Green or green? <laughs> okay, definitely green, that yes. Okay. Perfect. Do I want to go first or do I want a, a medicine? Let's see if it matters. Dr. Quinn? I'm gonna grab the. Oh, oops, I already took one. I'm gonna grab the medicine. Makes sense. All right. Well, then I guess I'm gonna be taking this. I'm and you get to go first. Going first and declaring. I'm undeclared. Okay. All right. <laughs> so you go first. So yes. we're going to now um, declare our buildings. Yes. Try to get these. Okay. So yellow. Uh, so how many? I just need to know what what you got going on over there. I have one yellow here, but I have these three slackers. You do have quite a bit of slackers there. Uh, let me kind of just assess totally what you got over there, so that way I know what I can potentially do. Because you break all ties. Yep. You do break all ties. How dare With you. my double baseball bats. I know, wow. Okay. That's what I would do with baseball bats. Is that right? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'll say I have just one yellow. I will not be using my slacker. Okay, same. <laughs> so I break ties. Yeah. So I'm going to grab this one. Mm -hmm. And this allows me to now keep an additional mission So you card. draw five and you keep two? Two, yeah. Okay, so that's not good. That's <laughs> not good. So uh, how many... Um, two survivors. Add, you gain add two more survivors. survivors, okay. Which, and then so I, one, two, three, I default five. with this one. Nine. And I gain uh, three survivors. So your nine to my 12. Okay. Okay, so I still need two farmers. That's right. So the next thing that we're going to be doing is red. I believe you have no, no, none. I have <laughs> so, zero red. I'm, yeah. I'm not in the red game, so red is yours. Okay, two red. And so I'll take, this one seems a smarter choice. You like that one? I, I, yeah, I'll take that. So that's going to add three survivors. So we're getting one, two, three. We're going to get some hungry people here. We're going to get some hungry people. Uh-oh. Okay. Yep. Um, the healer. Oh, I should put this bullet here. I technically have one healer die. So... You have one healer die? Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, I think you're just going to tie me out no matter what I do here. So I'm, I'll just declare uh, two green. Two? Two green. Okay, so I will, I guess, also do two? Yep. Makes sense. There we go. Okay, so you're and picking so the So I get to take one of these first. Mm -hmm. Let's see, right now... Are you going to have a food issue? I am going to have a food ah. issue. I'm definitely going to so have So that's the interesting issue. thing here about what you're going to choose. How many foods do you have? Um, you five, have five, six... five farmers and a... And a can of food. So I'll be okay. I have to be within 15 survivors if I want to be able to feed my people. If you want to stay in that column. If I want to stay in that, in in that, that row. row. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm going to, and I'm going to get two of them here. I'm at what, nine? Uh, you are nine, yep. So it's going to bring me to 11, 11, 12, 14, 15. I'm going to just take this one. Uh, you kind of <laughs> just gave away everything. <laughs> but that's good. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 think, I think you, well... You have the tiebreaker, and, and you're gonna you're gonna get me here. So, I'll take this one and just try to save up some space. I'll put that there. Okay. That's the two greens. Uh, now, how many survivors did you just gain? Did you gain any? I gained a, one. A single. Mm -hmm. So you're at ten. I just gained two survivors, so that's gonna push me into that next little row. Uh oh, seventeen. Okay. Having some issues there. <laughs> All right. Well, let's. Set big points. The sage, the, the purple. The sage, and then I have these. Yeah, yeah. So we're pretty much. Two. I'm pretty much gonna go first on these, right? Yeah. We're gonna have three of them. We're gonna have three. Mm -hmm. And you have two. So I need to get the one with less. Looks like yeah, this. Makes sense. Yeah. So two survivors, please. Two survivors. So Actually, just add four, four survivors. Because I'm gonna put my two slackers on there. One, two, on three, four. So now you're at fourteen. Okay. Okay. That leaves me with for forcingly to take this one. 
and I'll place that there. So I adds three survivors. One, two, three. Slow down. Goodness. <laughs> and then the last one yeah, are the farmers. I have three of them. Yeah, I have one. So which one? So I need to take this one. Okay. So this is going to come with a food token. Okay. Yeah. This one was already spent, so that right. stays empty. And then I also have these two. There you go. Nice, okay. So that puts me at 15. 15, right, where you need it to be. And then I'll yeah. take this one, one right two, here. Uh, blue, I have a blue section here. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, yeah. So I'll put that there. This is the food token that was already naturally with me. It gains me a food token. And it adds two more people, so we're going to 22. Okay. Yep. So... We've done, we are done acquiring buildings. We are now going to resolve the event, which yes. looks like yeah. it says that it, you have to have a combination of one, what is that, a sage? One sage. One sage with its book, with their book, and two uh, healers with two medicines. So, so I have, I met those requirements. Yeah, same. So and I don't will, have to use this, but it's okay. We will get three points. Three points each. Okay, we'll just move together to six. Okay, and then now we feed our people. So for me, I need to feed using four farmers. I have one farmer and three food here. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, that was wow. cutting it close. And so it gives me four points. Four points, yeah. So you are gray mm -hmm. and you go from six to 10. Okay, so for me, uh, it gets a little thicker here. So it requires six farmers and I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have the six farmers I needed and it gives me a six, six points. points. And I go from six to 12. And that's it. All right. Yeah. So we're going to reset. Yeah, for, reset. So I'm gonna take this building. We're out. halfway done. Let's put the double bats right. back. Okay. Binoculars. I'm gonna start rolling some of this dice. So I'm not feeling too good about my strategy I, here. You have a lot of. I was supposed to add this guy here. Hands out this technically right there. It's fine. Oh, okay. It's fine. Yeah. So it's kind it's of like in the same thought. Yeah. Oh, I don't know why I rolled them all. <laughs> Let's either. do that again. Yeah. So two. Okay. Wow. Uh, three. Two up here. Five. Slackers. There. Okay, two All slackers. No, I was kidding. Yeah. These go away. Okay. And then we're back. going to fill. Oh, here. Do you want to take them? Yeah, I can take them. I'm going to fill them with these. And then if we can switch our season yes. to. Yes. Good call. What? Autumn? To, uh, yeah, maybe autumn. Yeah, yeah fall. I believe so. And so there are, for each season, there are actually four event okay. tiles. You just don't play with one of them. Correct. Okay, let me put out these buildings. Yeah, let's do it. I'll meet you in the middle. Oh, I didn't see that. Okay. Okay. So I'm the first player, right? You are. Okay, we are set up. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you I'm are first. first. Yep, I had that little blue token. Ooh, okay. Now it gets a little tricky here. I'll go here. And let's put that down and I'll get rid of this one right over here. Okay. Um, oh, and I get this chip for going down first. Nice. Don't forget. Okay, I'm gonna go here. Let's grab the farmer. Okay. And take one of the farmer oh, chips. Food, food for food. Food. We need some food. Food. Um, I like what you did there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take. I'll take. This yellow. Okay. And Take a chit of book. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Yes. I'm gonna go here for this tinkerer mm -hmm. and grab another farmer. Oh wow, you're you're concerned. I'm concerned. <laughs> One farmer, there are some my farmer food is working going very on hard. In Camp Monique. My car my farmer Refuge needs Monique. my farmer needs extra support. There are some concerns. Okay. Well, I feel like I'm losing the farm game on this one, so I'll let you just have it, I guess. Wow. <laughs> I'll let you have it. You I, may have the farm game. Uh, well, there might be no catch-up. <laughs> game is that? This one. So I just want to clarify for the, for this one over here. 
this five means that um, it's any combination of the two, right? A, a brawler with a bullet mm -hmm. or a, a sage with a book. Mm -hmm. So I could have three, two or all five of one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. So I will take this one right here. Okay. And I will make the decision to flip over this one out of there. Okay. okay. And go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna grab the Tinkerer okay. and a Sage. Tinkerer and Sage. Okay, so that whole area is Denzo. Does, yeah, the rail station is kaput. <laughs> All right, so. That's you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. It's terrible. <laughs> funny, it's very funny. Boy. Oh, yeah, she. How do she? How do declare? All right, let's take. Red, and you know, I think I'm gonna go, I'll go, oh, I can't decide baseball bat or uh, <laughs> or binocular. First is nice, but ties are also nice, but I don't know how this is gonna play out here. I'll, I'll, I'll take the, uh, I'll baseball go bats? bats. I'll go, I'll go bats. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Um, we're gonna go slacker. And binoculars. Okay, nice. Sweet. Couldn't let you have both. Yeah, okay. yeah, I could see that being an issue. Um, let's do farmer food. Let's do... I'm going to grab one of these. Okay. And so I get five of these. I five get to of keep those two. keep two. Yeah, it seems pretty good. Five. I think I'm, I have to now take this one. You basically push my hand there. I did? Yes, you did. Should I can let you see 10 cards and keep four. These are all in game scoring stuff. So that's not good. Okay, I know which one I'm keeping, so I'm keep that one. Okay, I Go have my, tossers under you. my two. Okay, so it's... Um, so much, so many secrets here. So it's me? my turn. Is it your turn? Yep, because I took this and you took another one in reaction. Oh, okay, cool. And then I guess... Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. I will grab mm. this one. Yep, some food. Grab some food. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Continuing my search for food. The hunger. It's the hunger games over there. Passing you eat in to search for food. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well dang. I'd be a, I'd be a terrible refuge leader. <laughs> All my people would starve. Well dang. Um shoot. <laughs> You have uh, two options there, mister. I'm, I'm kind of looking over that. Well, okay. Blue and bullet. Okay. So I get slacker and bullet. Yes. All right. Yep. That was nice and quick. Yeah, nice. Okay, so um, we are going to acquire buildings. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Start with Tinkerer. Okay. Tinkerer, so oh, you I go first, first to declare. Yeah, do you have any? You don't have any slackers. No, I have no slackers. We, okay. We're very efficient here. So then I get two. Yep. Your choice. I have two. Uh... To my one. Okay, so the slacker, sorry, I keep calling them slackers. They're tinkerers. The tinker buildings are that, for this one, it says you, when you take your first turn, you can take your second turn immediately. Okay. So you're still gonna have the same number of turns each, it's just that you get to do your first and second turns at the same time. Correct. Right? And then this one says that when you take your first turn, you can actually swap out your die for another die that's in a different location. Um, I kind of like the idea of taking two turns. Yeah, in a row, I, right? I kind of don't like the idea of you doing that. But go ahead. Wait, hold on. <laughs> oh. One second. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Yeah, that makes sense. So can you add three survivors for me? Uh oh, it's getting expensive. One, two, three. So you're at eighteen now. You're in that next tier. Okay. Um, I'm gonna take this one right here, and that puts me with two more survivors. Now I am getting kind of expensive and nervous here. Okay. Uh, brawlers. I have. I have three. You have three. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you have three brawlers and three, three oh natural farmers, and you break ties, Correct. right? So I need to save one of these for the farmers, and. <laughs> Then that means that I him. have four brawlers. Oh, and neither of us took healers. So nobody took that. a healer, no. Which means there was probably, there were no healers. I think there was no green. Yeah, there, there was no green at, no at all. Green so these were not in the running at all. Okay, no so I have um You're going to declare four? four? Of them. Okay, yeah. perfect. So I will take this one. Okay. 
So that gives you two more. Two more, please. And take this one. So, oh, so you took the one that doesn't have the bullet on it. Correct. Interesting. So that gives me two more. Okay. So nobody's getting nobody nobody's getting those. It's a healer. No. And then uh, I cannot declare purple for I have no purple. Oh, sage. Man. So you must take sage. I have to take sage. You must oh, take sage. I messed up. Mm -hmm. Wait, am I gray? You're gray. So I only have space. Oh my goodness. I'm not going to be able to feed my people. <sighs> Sad times. Okay. So let's... These people are going to want to go back to the old Eden. <laughs> Wait, so that was this one, right? That was uh, Brawler that we just did? We did Brawler, yeah. So I have one Sage. Correct. So I get... Well, I guess I might as well just... Go hard. Go hard, right? Can't so anyway. two people? Yeah. Please? And then this comes... Is that the third person? Yeah, third person. Okay. Oh, and you don't have any? I have none, yeah. Okay, so now with the farmers... Yeah. I have four of them. I have three. Well, I have one farmer and then three slackers. Right. Plus, and... plus those two. Oh, plus these shits, two. Oh, wow. Which will go on there. So, yeah, you're going to get quite a few people. So, let's go with this one. Okay. Uh, so, that's two, four. Four more survivors. Four please. more survivors. So, that puts you in the next category. One, two, three, four. You're right on 27. As am I. I'm going to take this one this, right here. And I get one. And I'll just put this one out here. Up and that here. gives me two food and three survivors. So I managed to stay in the same zone. Do you want to know something? What's that? I am literally short one food. Oh. That was painful. Mm. That might have done it. That I don't know. You, you have the ability to go twice in a row. <laughs> that That's pretty good. did it. So okay. Maybe, maybe you can recover. Maybe. Okay. All right. So let's. I mean, reset. this tie thing was useless for me. This. 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 Yeah. yeah, I went. Oh, for actually, it. we're not. We're not resetting yet. We, we have to we do this. Some things. We have to resolve this tile. So it's a combination of five, uh, brawler bullets and sage books. So, so I think I have five. One, two. Yeah, I have a ton of those mm -hmm. people and. Perfect. I have one, two, three, four, and a discount of one. <laughs> I have no red dudes. Oh yeah, no red dudes. Okay. Why do deaths? So, so I have, so we both get five points. We both get five points, so just move them on there. So you go to 17. 15. 15. <laughs> I'll take there. Yes. And now we must feed our people, which I'm going to fail at okay. right now. So it cost me six. So we both need to pay six, yeah. It cost me six, and I have exactly six. I don't have to give up any of my food. So you get six points. Six points. And you're... White. White. 23. 23. There you go. Okay. All right, so let's reset. So these go bye bye. Send it back. Let's yes. put them at the bottom of the decks here. We are now in Ovinter. This is the last, last round of the game. This is it. That yes. was quick. Here you go. Put this off to the side. You got it. And then binoculars go back. Okay. And then these go out. I'm gonna put the new uh, three here. Two. Ooh, expensive. Very expensive. Three, four, five, six. Put up the last equipment tiles. Uh, sure. Let me just roll these. And then just dice rolling fun. <laughs> I'll roll three. Two, two, three, four, five. And I put up the last one. Equipment tiles. Okay, I'll do it. Oh, sorry. Yeah. These are the last three. One, two, three. Let's hope those objectives have been met. Okay. And then the last. So just to reiterate, um. Monique's special ability over here, she gets to take basically her first two turns in a row. Mm -hmm. My special ability is on my very first turn, I get to swap any two dice and take the action. Yeah, true. Who had the binoculars? I had the binoculars. You did, right? yeah. Okay. So, so you're not only going to go first, but you're going to go twice. Hmm. Okay, this is uh, winter? That is winter, yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, things are getting. Things are expensive. Things are getting expensive. Well, I think what I have to do is I think I know exactly what you have to do. I think you know what I have to do. Yeah, so I didn't like the combination of things you got. So I'm gonna take this so, one and eight. which gives me these five, three, four, five. <laughs> so just why don't you just hang tight for a little bit? I'm gonna keep two of these. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, why don't you just take ten cards now? Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> because you said And then I can do things while you're well, figuring it out. No, I guess technically that's not that's not that's cheating. Technically resolve your whole yeah. thing. Yeah. Well okay. basically because 
I my know, C cards. And my C cards, and yeah. it's like, okay. yeah. Okay, so I should just do it this way. Um, the Jeopardy music. No, no, no. Oh. Leave that to me. Oh, okay. You focus on the cards. Got it. <laughs> this one. Okay. You just go bye bye. And then I'm going to take my, le my next five. One, two, three, four, five. And keep. And keep two of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to keep these two. Okay. And you go. Run it back. Huh? You got to run it back. Run it back. Run it back. Did you draw twice? No, that's it. Oh, you no. done it twice? Yeah, that was oh. both. That was both. Oh, the Jeopardy music just kept going. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I was like, where are we running to? Okay. okay. I don't even remember what these... Ugh, I don't even know how many of these So are now what? Okay, my turn. So now I now this is the time with this special card, I can swap dice from somewhere and then take the action. So let's see. What, what is it, what's important to me? Okay. What I'll do is I'm going to swap green into here, and I'll okay. push yellow out, yeah, let's swap green into here, push yellow out, so I'm going to take green, take this one right here, and let's go ahead and get rid of, I'll get rid of this one right here at the very top, okay, your turn. I'm going to go with this. Yellow okay. and one of these. So you took a green chit. And I took yellow. a healer, a healer chit. Yeah. Okay. okay, I'll take a red. Oops, this was red. Okay. And the yellow chit. Oops, sorry. I'm gonna grab the farmer and slacker. a slacker. Okay. Farmer and Slacker, let's do... Okay, I'll take this one right here. And I'm going to cancel this one out. I don't even know <laughs> what combinations are over there. Uh, I think I, I think I hose you on this one. I don't think you can physically do this anymore. Really? Yeah. You have plenty of sages, but you, you're, there's no way you're going to be able to get medicine this round. Unless you can, if, unless you have some sort of secret building. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping, I mean, hey, if not, we die. So just to clarify, I get the last two turns, because you took the first two turns. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. I'm going to grab this farmer and the binoculars. Farmer and binoculars, okay. I'll take the yellow. Yeah, I'll take the yellow. And I'll take, I'll take ties. Look at all those. I'm going to grab this. Slacker? Slacker. What material would you like to use? Let's get this. Okay. Okay, so let's take slacker. Well, yeah, let's take, let's take the slacker and the book. And this is your last, and then you'll leave me with two. Okay, I'm gonna grab this. Okay. And I gotta and reach it. Okay, so these two last two are mine, no matter what. So I'm just taking both down. That and that, and I get a food and this book right here. Okay, so we are going into our last building acquiring phase mm -hmm. of the whole game. Let's do it. Okay. Right. So you are first to declare. Yep. Okay. So I, I before we declare, I'm just gonna let you know I have one slacker, and I have a chit and uh, one yellow ticker. So you're gonna be declaring first. Yeah. Before we start the acquiring building space. Yep. This uh, this one says for each mission that you are not able to accomplish, right. you get two one points. Of these cards. Yeah. That's yeah. Not good. And this is for each tinkerer that you have in your refuge, you get a point. A single victory point. A single victory point. Yeah. So starting with the tinkerers, mm -hmm. I have to declare, but he gets he beats ties, which is not fun ties. for me. And how many you have the capacity to I can go up to three. Okay, so then I will go one, two, three. You're gonna do it. I'm gonna do four. four. 
Okay. I really want this uh, one. No. Oh wait, sorry. Oh. Declare yours. <laughs> you have to formally uh, declare. Uh, let's just say two. Two? Two. Okay, yeah. I'll take this one. Uh-huh. So that gives you three extra. So it gives me three extra. Okay, so you're going to go to 30. Uh, mine gives me one extra. So let's go ahead and get me to the next level. And then before we continue, um, anytime you have a mission card, so this is the first time we're going to see this, but anytime you have a, a mission card that's actually a building, right. once you meet the requirement, you can put it in play. So this was, this is a building that I needed to build. The requirement is here in gray. Okay. And it says that I need three tinkerers in my refuge to build this. And I now finally have at least three. Well, there you go. So this is going to join me right there. And so it adds another survivor. Uh-oh. Um, and then I believe I have another building. I have yeah, this that, one. That was a dangerous combination. So there. <laughs> this is two tinkerers, yep. the purple and the Sage green. And the green yep. So this is going to come join me here. There no extra go. survivors, but, but I do get food that is two for you, necessary foods. Very good. Foodstuffs. Well done. Okay. okay. And you? Um, no. No? Oh, okay. Not I yet. thought <laughs> you were looking through your cards. So I thought you were going to play one. Mm -hmm. All right, so yeah. moving on to the brawlers. I don't have any. You have zero, so I'll game. declare the two die I have. I will, let's go for broke. I'll take this one right here. So that gives me two more people, refugees or survivors coming here. Now I satisfy a card, kind of like what you did. So I have two tinkerers. I have a, a healer and now finally a brawler. Nice. That puts that out there and it gives me two chits of food. I think I'm okay on food though. Yeah, you're probably okay on food. Yeah. So I don't get this because I didn't have a brawler. Right. Moving on to the healer. Yeah, so I misspoke. I didn't realize you took a green Yeah, I do chip. have one here. I was mm. like, what is he talking about? So I'm, let me see what I could have possibly taken. I, no, you could have satisfied this. Nine. And you could have, uh, I can't even satisfy this. So there's, that's why I had to block this one out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I have this one here. Mm -hmm. What are the last two? There's this. Mm -hmm. And you also have one. I have one plus healer. One plus, I'm sorry, the um, slacker. Okay. Um, I will... I'm going to declare one. Just the one. Just one? Yeah. I also will declare one. So I get dibs. Yep. I'll take this one. I get this one. So, so I, I get... go up two. And you go up two? Mm-hmm. Okay. And I get this, my medicine comes yes. onto the area. Mm -hmm. Oh, and this joins as well. That's right, so you get another one. One more. Right. Okay. And that critical mass. Okay, so... The sage. Yeah, your choice. I will... Well, I think I have to declare two. Yeah. And you? You're declaring two with what? Okay, so with uh, my slacker, um, I'll I'll declare two. Okay. Yeah, so I'll take the tie, and I'll take this one right here. All right, I add three survivors. Yeah, so I have one, and you add three. Actually, I add four because of my slacker. Okay, so now we're both in that second, uh, the the final tier. The final so, tier. Um, okay, one and one here. So, oh, so I two, declare two. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Does it matter? Yeah, don't forget you have that food token there. I just don't want you to. Thank you. Um, doesn't matter really. Because you can you can feed your people also, right? I can also feed, yeah. Plus, it these both come with food, so I think it's just I'm more this formality. One. Okay. And then I get this put on there, and I get two more food tokens. Thank you. Um, and two. And two. And one for me. Okay. All right. Okay. So, then, let's uh. Resolve the event. <laughs> so yeah, combination of four, four and four sage books and four healer medicines. I so exactly I have I have one, two, three. I have I have at least four right. pairs of those. And same with you. Four. I have exactly yeah, four exactly of the medicine. Four. Yeah, that worked so out. So that worked out. So we both get eight points. Eight points. Yeah. So just slide them on down. So it's thirty-one. Thirty-one. Twenty-three. Where are you going? There. Okay. Um, okay, and then we are going to feed our people. So I believe we can both do it, right? Yeah, so I'll go, f uh, you want to go first? Sure, I yeah. just need 10. 10, yeah. 10 farmers, so I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
10. Oh, yeah, 10. So that gets you well, 10 points. Well, I didn't points. get to feed them last round. I know. So this goes to 33. 33. And then you... Okay, so I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Wow, you hit it exactly. No, I have all these. Oh, you have all those. Yeah. Okay, so here's the risk. Yeah. So 41. Right. And then... Okay. That's the game. We're done. Thank you. Game. I'm just kidding. Yeah, no. <laughs> so we go into end game scoring. Yeah, this is where I don't feel very good. You have a ton of I cards. I think you'll be fine. Okay. okay. So now we're we're in end game scoring. Let's start. Let's start with the binoculars just to get out of the way. Okay. So uh, I get two points two for that. Two points. Yep. And I'm great, right? Yep. One, two. All right. So now we do. Um, do you want me to just count all mine? Uh, sure. Okay. So as long as I have four or greater purple books, which I do, I get four points. Okay, so, one, two, three, four. Okay. Um, if I have the most I uh, items out there, oh. then I get six. So I have one, two, three, four, five, I think you six, have the seven, most. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 maybe? I have like, uh, I have like 15. Okay, so yeah. another six points for me. So six points for you. So Four. 45 to 51. 51. So this is... And my last one is have 13 or more buildings, which is 6. 13? So oh, one, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, buildings, 5, got 6, it. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15. Yep, so we're good. Okay, uh, and I think you also have... Um, do you have that building? That building says this one here. Oh, yeah, there one. we go. One point for each tinker, so it's 1, 2, 3. So 1, 2, 3. Okay. So my final score turns out to be exactly 60 points. 60 so points, okay. Monique has a ton of cards, That's and I'm a little I nervous. I haven't... I like, I, well, I like your card that is for every unfulfilled one, you get two points. Oh, yeah, that's true. I guess, that's oh, a yeah, pretty, I guess That's a pretty nasty combination nice of everything that you had there. Then you can, like, yeah, get points no matter what. Especially with the combination you have here, I'm, I'm not feeling too good. We'll see. <laughs> so this says, if I have at least two Tinkerer buildings that have powers on them... Oh, actually, yeah. I guess they don't all do, right? They have power. Then, down. yeah, these ones all have yeah, abilities. Yeah. So, two so points. I get two points. Okay. So one, two. This one, let's just get <laughs> this one. So that's why I took yep. the binoculars, because it gave me an extra two points. Right. I was debating, like, do I use that? Eh. Well, this, the funny thing is, because you have that tile, you could have also failed this one and still got two points. Right, yeah, yeah, else. that's yeah. true. But, um, yeah. I didn't know that it was there. Right. Yeah. Okay, so this one is having the most of the purple... The oh my gosh. Sages. Wow. And I think I that's have quite yeah. a bit. So that's six points. A lot. So. Oh no. Wait. Oh, that 38? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. No. 44 then? 43? What is this math? 44. Six. Yeah, 44. There we go. <laughs> I thought you were at 39, sorry. This one I think I failed. Okay. This is crazy. You have to have two pairs of every survivor. Two pairs of every survivor. survivor. Okay. It says that in the in the book that it's two Do you pairs. Not have two pairs. I almost think that it's two. I don't know. It's weird because two pairs? Yeah. the picture looks like the, each of them are paired. It's only worth four points. It says if you have at least two pairs of each type of survivor. Yeah. So a pair of four, each type. Four two points. Of so two of. Up so four of each. Two pairs of each type, right? Yeah, so you need four total. So you need four of each survivor. Yeah, so that you was need tough. Twenty-four survivors. But it's survivors. only four, four points. It's crazy. Okay, I, don't, I, I didn't. I think you make failed it. it and got half credit. That's true. I was one away. I oh, needed no one way. more red person. Oh, good. <laughs> it's fine. I get two points for that one then, because <laughs> and to clarify, the reason why I'm getting two points for this is because I have this ability right. in my tinker building. Right. Yeah. It says for every failed mission, I get two points. Gosh. Okay. Getting to go twice at the end there—that yeah, was pretty nice. That was that was kind of nice. This is having the most oh, of no. the green healers. I have four. I have five. Oh, I planned that like really, dirty. really like tightly wow. at the very end. Yeah, that that's why healer. you were so that's why I was set on getting that. Okay. I needed it. I needed it. So right, six, six points for there. That. So one, two, three. You put that. Four, five, six. So you're at, oh 52. no. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. I feel it. Okay, if I have four more of the medicine, I get four points. <laughs> is that a two-pointer? If I have the most bullets, I get six points. I have seven bullets. <laughs> I don't have enough. <laughs> oh, but you get two points for that. But it's not enough. Oh my gosh. You are victorious. I've done did it. Good job. Yes. We'll you 
have the better refuge in Paris. This is the new Eden. This is the old Eden. No, this is the new but not as good Eden. Oh, I see. Oh, that's what it but is. But it's okay because we could probably combine our refuges, right? That's right. You're a nice guy. Yeah, I'll be on the east side. Feed our people, <laughs> please. Yeah, that early farm was good. Okay, so we just finished our two-player playthrough of Paris and New Eden. Hope you guys enjoyed it. What did you think about it? It's... It was interesting. I... Hmm. I haven't played a game like this before, have you? Um, what do you mean? A game that feels like this. That feels like this? No, it's, it's fairly light. So this game is a gathering game. Yep. Like, uh, if you've ever played a game that has secret objectives, this is a game entirely devoted to that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's it's about the post-apocalyptic Paris. What do you think about the theme? The theme? Uh, it's a little pasted on for me, but... Um... So he feels like the theme is pasted on yeah. in terms of mechanics, which I think is true. Right. Like, the like... healer... You're not gonna heal anybody with the healers. Yeah, there's there's these medicine chits, but I never actually use the medicine to do anything. So he's kind of taking it yeah. into like the literal sense. The food for, fed people. The food fed. The people. food fed people. Yeah. Yeah. For me, I think that the theme is, the point of the theme is that you are in a post-apocalyptic world. It puts so you in a world. You're. I'll give you that. You don't have things, so it's a it's a game based off of scarcity. So in terms of this, that storyline, I think the theme is is kind of there. Like, okay, I can see what you mean there. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like you, sure. you're. You're you don't have any resources. You don't have any people or buildings. So you're trying to gather all these things in order to build up this refuge. I guess it like lays the foundation for why you're doing what you're doing in the game. Yeah. yeah okay. The okay. So what what did you think about the components? Components are very nice in this game. The artwork is very very nice. The dice are of course nice. Um, when we opened the the board game, like the whole box, I was pretty impressed. Yeah. Like the components are um, excellent. All of the cardboard is nice and thick. The cards are really, really good quality cards. The, all the colors are very, very vibrant. Yes, very vibrant. And very I can take this, I feel like I can take this board and put it on my wall. It's so beautiful. It is a very It's nice large yeah. and it's just the, artwork is nice. the uh, color scheme. Beautiful. I don't think there's any con anything confusing on the board. And the insert is great. Yeah. <laughs> the actual that's, box that's, insert, yeah, every awesome, yeah. every single yeah. um, component has a place. Has a little spot for it. Let's go oh, are we going to do a little yeah. preview here? Yeah. <laughs> Look, the tokens go here. These are the event tile section. Mm -hmm. All the all they even they even labeled. Insert labeled. Yeah, so the box is a little bit big, but it's also big. Yeah. It's nicely. Right. So what about player count? I think the player count differences are interesting. Mm -hmm. In a th no, in a four player game. You only have three buildings out, so one okay. person is always going to be without a building. So mm -hmm. I think that the theme probably shines um, the brightest at a four player. Yeah, I think a full player, four player is the way to go. Yeah, team, because two, sure. and, two and three players, you still have everybody's going to get a building if as long as they take at least one of those survivor types. Right, um, which can be either chits or dice. Right, and specifically in a two-player game, which is what we played, instead of you instead of you fighting over scarcity, which is kind of the theme of this, you're fighting with overabundance. Like, you, the more... You're required to take a building if you have a, a die or a chit for it. Mm -hmm. And so if I take a building, it's going to increase the number of survivors in my refuge, right. which is going to require me to pay more farmers in order to get those points. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of trying to balance that. Like, um, some of the, a lot of the mission cards say if you have the most number of these like bullets, then you get six points at the end of the game. Right. So in a two-player game, I can always see how many bullets he has. And I have a lot of them, but so does he. So yeah. I have to try to figure out how can I have more than the amount that he yeah, already I think has. You're right. I think, yeah, you're right with the uh, overabundance at two players. Yeah. And four players. Four don't... players is truly scarce. Yeah, yeah there was right? a lot of times when we're, when we're choosing buildings where I was like, Sure, I'll just take the leftovers. Yeah, okay. it becomes a different strategy. Okay, I'll take all the leftovers. Is, really. Yeah, I can feed that person. Okay, the no event problem. tiles become a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. to, yeah, um, yeah we, I think we scored all three of our event tiles. Yeah. The seasonal tiles um, all four times. Yeah, so. the feeding the people is truly yeah. what makes it harder in a two-player game. Right. Um, something that we had discussed before is we think that it would be cool, or I should say we, but I think it would be cool to have another mode of play. A meaner mode. I a think we talked about a meaner play. mode, yeah. Because yeah, this game is, is fairly light, you know? It's fairly light, fairly which light. is good, right? Because right. or it, it can potentially be good because you can teach this to anyone. Like oh, you yeah. don't you don't have to be a you know a really experienced gamer in order to get this game. This could definitely go to the gateway category for sure. Yeah, you can bring this around with your yeah. with your friends and family and they'll probably really enjoy it because mm -hmm. it's such a pleasant game. There you don't get penalized for anything. Yeah. 
I mean, you you don't you just lose out on the ability to score points, but it doesn't it doesn't penalty, take away yeah. any buildings from you. Like right. nothing in here actually crushes you. Yeah, it wasn't like because you didn't feed, you now have to roll the dice and whichever comes up, you must destroy a building. And lose survivors. <laughs> there's so none of that. There's none of that. Like you so, know, and this is obviously we're coming from like a Euro gamers yeah, perspective because gaming, we're used yeah. to playing games that kind of like your, oh well you couldn't feed your people you, you just lose. Yeah. <laughs> so mm -hmm. it would be yeah. nice to have another mode to be able to play with the more experienced gamers who do want a little bit of a meaner game. Yeah, totally. Right. But I mean, it's fine without it. It's it's really pleasant. In terms of the replayability, the Tinkerer cards are crazy. They yeah, are, are a little bit... the Some of them have the word end on them. And they're stuck and in the back. Yeah, I think the last six cards or something have the word end on them, and you're supposed to put them at the very bottom because they, they instead of giving you abilities, they give you end game points. Mm -hmm. But the ones that give you abilities are crazy. So I had a I had a card that allows yeah, me to take... You had a nutty combination. I mean, I still lost, but yeah. I had a card that allows me to take the first my first two actions back to back. If I had this starting in the second round, that would be like... Really, really, really beneficial for yeah. me, especially in a two-player game. Plus, you couple that with uh, every time you take this action, you get to draw two more. Oh, and then not only that, you also coupled it with the card that allowed you to take two of those five. The t two of the five yeah. mission cards, whenever, so. whenever I take a mission card. Um, but the thing about that is that, especially in a two-player game, we're both, if, as long as you have one tinkerer in your refuge, you're going to be able to take a tinkerer yeah. mm -hmm. building card. Yeah, yeah. Which means if you already see somebody, your opponent is already like crushing it, and you see both cards are going to help your opponent, there's nothing you can do. There's literally nothing you yeah, can do. Yeah, all you're going to do is just say, okay, well, I'll just get one tinker so that I can get some sort of benefit right. getting that building. But the game does, I do feel like the game does have a lot of really interesting strategy. Like there are a lot of times there, I, I feel like every move we had to sit there and think like, what is the best combination of survivors that I should take? Should I take the food now? What if there's no more food by the time it comes around to me again, should I take the card that the die that gives me the extra survivors? For me, which the, survivor do I take? Mm -hmm. Right. For me, the most interesting part is when you get into the building aspect, and you have the um, what are these guys called? These are the uh, the slackers. The slackers, and so you you know whoever goes first has to declare how many are they committing towards. And so the the management of the slackers, yeah, that is, is really the interesting, interesting part. That is that, that is, is really the, yeah, that is the meta game, the interesting part, and because you want to have the majorities right. in all of them, right? Because a slacker um, by themselves is nothing, but they have to be attached to somebody. So you see that okay, well they have three and I have two plus a slacker. Mm, do I want to waste my slacker here? Yeah. Do I really need that card? Mm, maybe I'll wait and see right, what they right, do. Right. So. Um, so that's the that's the most interesting part for me. Yeah, game. the game definitely has a lot of interesting points. Mm -hmm. Every single die will be taken. All three of these tokens will be taken. Somebody's going to be the first player. Somebody's going to break mm -hmm. ties. Yeah, somebody's going to have the wild. Yeah. So it's just who is it going to be and when will you take it? That's what that is the part that is kind of difficult for my brain to wrap around. I know I have these mission cards and I know I'm going to get more. So how can I gather things in order to build towards my current mission cards and my future right. ones? Mm -hmm. Because that a lot of times. That's how you're going to score points. Plus, Those fulfilling, fulfilling these this, event yeah. tiles. That's another way. So it's just about like figuring out which combination of these survivors is going to help you the most, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I thought I thought that was really interesting. Overall, I think that this game is is just pleasant. It's just it's a pleasant experience. It's like mm -hmm. the nice kid in class, right? Just a pleasant experience that I think a lot of people are going to really enjoy. Yeah, simple, it's, quick. Yeah, it's simple. Yeah. It's quick. You're you're trying to find combinations to things and meeting your objectives. It's not um, too punishing. And I enjoyed playing it. Um, I don't know if people who really like to play like heavy strategy games are going to take, are going to get enough thrill out of it. Right. Yeah. Yes. But I think that it is quite pleasant. Mm -hmm. And you? Yeah, I think you kind of nailed exactly what I would say about it. Um, there's definitely a group of people that I would definitely bring this game to. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. Which would be people more newer to games, lighter gamers, people who want to get a quick in and out, you know, 45 minute experience. Um, sometimes people just don't want to listen to rules when you go take a game to them. Yeah, this, this game is a perfect super game easy for, to for, teach. To bring, yeah, it's for that. very straightforward. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Cool. Overall conclusion, nice. <laughs> 
Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you saw today and would like to see more playthroughs in the future, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell because it'll notify you of all of our future releases. Yep. Thanks so much. Bye.